Okay, trust me, you are not an introvert. It's funny. Yesterday, I was supposed to be on here on the business page to train, uh, like back to back because I had missed Monday. And it was St. Patty's Day. And we didn't really, we didn't realize that. I mean, we knew, but throughout, through the day, while we were going about our day, doing our jobs and all that, we forgot that it was uh, St. Patty's Day. Hey, Christine, this is going to be a fun one. So I go to my friend invited us over for uh, corned beef and cabbage. And there were uh, four, five, six, seven of us. And we're, we just have these really great conversations because one of my friends is from Sweden, grew up there. The other one's from Bulgaria, grew up there. The other one's from Hungary, grew up there. And then the other two, the married couple are from New York and one's Italian. And I believe actually they might both be Italian, I'm not sure. And then there's us. My husband is from Puerto Rico and Chile, and I'm from the Philippines. And so, oh, thanks, babe. I actually took a shower today. <laughs> I was, I did an interview. Actually, somebody interviewed me and it was great. I spoke on a lot of different things that have gotten me to where I am now to a whole bunch of people who are thinking of going toward mentorship. And so I was like really proud to be a guest, a sole guest on that interview. So anyways, that's why I'm looking all gussied up. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, trucker cap and hoodie. It's all fine with me. Hey, Amanda. Thanks. So anyways, Amanda, by the way, good job inviting people. Cool. Like we're just going to grow this group, you know, it's more fun that way when there's all of us collaborating in there. So anyways, we were having this conversation, right? And we started talking about how the pandemic has really fueled the introverts, like people who are introverts are saying to, and then we brought this up because my friend, my Swedish friend, actually the Swedish friend and the Bulgarian friend, they're best friends. They're both college professors. One is at Cal Berkeley and he, they both teach graduate students mathematics. And the other one's San, I believe he works at San, uh, San Jose State. So anyway, so we're talking and uh, the my Swedish friend, he's also my keyboard player, by the way, his name is Pear. He starts to say, yeah, there's this study saying that people who are introverts are saying, in your face, this pandemic is made for us. You know, we're introverts and now we can go out there and start doing this and blah, 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 and be marketers or whatever, or like go on message boards, go on Facebook, go on TikTok, whatever. And we started really deconstructing the word, like really, you know, defining what an introvert really is. And we're like, these people are not introverts because if they were, right, they wouldn't be reaching out in any way, shape or form. So if you're saying you're an introvert, why are you in marketing, right? It's like a, what do you call that? It's a conundrum or whatever. And then, so someone says, yeah, well, oh my gosh, who was it? He was talking about, what was his name again? The guy that bombed, oh my gosh, he's a, so, he's, a, he's a sociopath guy, right? I'll think of his name. Anyways, and they're like, he's an introvert because nobody knew who, you know, who he was. I'm like, yeah, but see, he's not even an introvert. Like we were, we were all talking about this because he still had a message. Like he still wanted to like bomb this place because he had a message to give or whatever. He still was smart enough to contact the government and, you know, do all this stuff to them and all this. So all that stuff he did. Unabomber. Yes. What was his name again? Can I, um, what was his name? Why can't I think of his name? Hey, Tony. And so we were like, yeah, you know what? Technically, if you were an introvert, we wouldn't even know who you are. So that means introverts don't exist because we don't know them because they don't come out of the caves in the hills. Okay. And it was funny because the, the European like explanation for that was really funny because my friend, the Bulgarian one was like, and he, he's very, these two guys are like super intelligent, right? They're like graduate students, teach graduate student professors, and they went to MIT and all the, they went to Harvard or whatever. And, and they were like, yeah, back in the 1400s or something, he said, there used to be introverts and they never, you know, played with the the uh, the rest of the people they were just over there in some shack i'm not even making this up these are words he's using they were all laughing with his bulgarian accent so it was even more funny i mean they're in the shack and eventually they died off because all the wolves 
Adam. Yes, Ted Kaczynski. Exactly. Thank you. You know, because one of the one of the guys, my friend from New York, was like Ted Kaczynski's in the show. I'm like, and then we like broke it down. We're like, no, he's not. And so, so in other words, sociopaths are not introverts. <laughs> Neither are psychopaths. And so he was like, yeah. And then eventually the wolves ate the introverts, you know? And then, so we were like laughing so hard, you know? And I was just thinking, oh my gosh, I can't wait to share this with you guys. Because one of the top reasons why people think they can't excel in marketing is because they're introverts. So here's the thing. They really are not introverts because one, if you were really an introvert, you wouldn't even attempt to be in marketing, right? Network marketing, uh, any kind of sales, anything like that. So, you know, it, it was, it was really interesting to really get that perspective from people who are not in marketing. Hey, Cynthia. And just seeing how normal it is to feel like you either are or are not an introvert and how it's really logical. Like there is this there's this like meme that in the past year with the pandemic and all the political stuff that we've all kind of lost our minds and lost common sense and things like that. And we need to, <laughs> we need to, to get back to that. And so knowing that being an introvert is just a label and that you aren't really an introvert because you're in this field. I hope that kind of like, gives you a new perspective on the fact that you don't have to hide, right? Because you don't have to be afraid of what people are going to think. Maybe, you know, they say the people that call themselves introverts say that, well, I'm weird and people won't, they won't understand me. You know, they're, they're going to judge me, but really we need to embrace the weird, right? How many of you guys have friends, raise your hands that are weird, but you still hang out with them, right? I'm sure there are a lot of you that have friends that are weird or like there's something about them that's quirky or, you know, they're even douchebags, right? <laughs> but you still hang out with them because there's something about them that, that just keeps you there. Like that, that says, you know what? He's not that bad. He can be our friend, you know, like, and so we really need to look around in our lives, right? Not just here in the marketing world, but <laughs> around in our lives and like, look at like, who are our friends, you know? embrace the weird embrace that's what makes you unique like christine says you know and so here's the tactical thing i'm gonna tell you guys first of you guys i, I think most of you on here know who i am <laughs> but if this is your first time watching because i know there's new people in the group that are not that don't know about my business page or have not met me over there i'm eileen elvira and i'm here to i help i help build dreams you know i have a tagline but you know to get to the to the bottom line Let's just make it nice and simple. You know, I want to help you build your dream. That's why I'm here. However way I need to, to do that, whether it's teaching you marketing, training you on marketing, I mean, I hate to say teaching because I'm not a teacher, you know, but hey, Ruth, good to see you. Training you on marketing, training you on how to brand yourself, training you on mindset, just anything that I could, could help, you know, provide some value. That's how you achieve your, your dreams, your goals, right? So Eileen here, dream builder. <laughs> so anyways, here's a tactical thing I'd like you to do. And the reason why, and this is not for everyone, everyone, there are a lot of you guys are already out there. You're all extroverts and doing your thing, but look around because there are, thank you, Ruth. I've been getting a lot of friend requests lately. I've been sending out friend requests and like kind of seeing people's profiles and like looking at, and I'm so surprised that being in the marketing field that they don't have anything on their profiles that tells me who they are. I see profiles that look like all motivational quotes, memes, videos that they found on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, but nothing like no sign of them. Some people don't even put profile pictures out there. It's so weird. And the reason why I'm telling you this is not because you guys do it, but you might have people on your team that do it, right? So we're not, we're not just learning here to be, to reach our goals. We're part of reaching our goal is to be a good leader for your team. You know, building a business is all about leadership. Whether you're leading a team, whether you're leading your downline, whether you're leading your virtual assistants, you know, anything. It's about leadership and without leadership, you can't have a successful business. Yeah, I said it, right? You cannot. 
And so like Christine, yes, your profile is like your business card. And so you need to, you know, you don't need to make it to start off. I'm not saying, hey, go refurbish your entire, you know, profile. I am not saying that, but at least get a picture out there. Every day, I would put a story. I would put a selfie. You know what? Here's the thing. Back in the day, people thought, you know, if you were posting selfies, you were all about, you know, being conceited or like full of yourself or narcissistic or whatever the word you want to use for it. But nowadays in the world, in the, you know, the era of social media, doing selfies is kind of like what people, you know, they don't, they look kind of look forward to it. Like, hey, what's Eileen doing today? You know, or like, how does Eileen's hair look today? <laughs> it's got, what kind of baseball cap is she wearing this time or trucker cap? Or, you know, it's, it is your calling card. And so if you're not putting a piece of yourself out there because you're afraid that someone's going to judge you or someone's going to stalk you or, you know, like in the beginning, that's what it was. It was like, I don't want the public to know who I am. I never want them to see my children. I don't, you know, so many different things. I mean, I went through it. Like I remember, Hey Brenda, thank you. I remember first getting a piano. All right. When we, like the first week we bought a, a grand piano. Now we're all musicians. We didn't just buy it just to buy it. You know, we didn't, we're not like status people, right? So we buy this grand piano and my husband has this thing where he says, you guys watch, I bet you after a while, you're not going to play it anymore. So I'm going to get, and he's the only one that's not a musician in the family, right? So he goes, I want to, I want to put a, uh, one of those things that play your piano for you. So it's like electronic piano player. So the, the piano is legit, good brand, whatever. But if you install this, this piece that's electronic it can control the hammers and it, it'll play the piano for you. So we have a player piano as well. So that there was a time, it was, I think I believe it was like 2008, 2009. I don't know if you guys remember the crash, the market crash of 2008, 2009. I think that was when the mortgage companies were just, you know, had doing their shenanigans and, and everyone was like losing money and all that. And I remember him getting mad at me because I posted a song and the piano was playing for me in the background by itself. And I sang, <laughs> I remember I was singing overjoyed by Stevie wonder. And he immediately called me cause he saw, I posted the video on Facebook. It's 2008, right? He immediately called me. He's like, why did you do that? Like people are going to say like, you know, you're trying to show off the piano and that, you know, I'm like, what? Like that never ever crossed my mind. You know, I just, that's what I do. Like I, I post songs, like whether it's the piano behind me or me playing guitar, I'm going to do it. So this, those were the days when you really were worried about people judging you on social media because it was so new, but now that's the only way we keep in touch. That's how we keep connection with people. People want connection, even Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> and that's what he did the things he did, he could have just kind of like stayed in his little cave and just, you know, became an intro, become an introvert or whatever. But instead he did all this stupid shit. Sorry. <laughs> because he needed some kind of connection, whether it's bad or good, whether it's evil, right. Or, you know, godly. So it's like, it's like saying that the devil is not always trying to get in our heads. They, he is, or it is <laughs> whatever, you know, and so you guys go to your profiles and put a piece of yourself out there. Put pictures of you, put pictures of your family, maybe you and your dog, maybe you taking a hike, maybe you cooking something. You know, we used to stop like posting food because when Facebook first came out, everyone got kind of tired of people posting food. But now it's like post like a little quick video on how you actually made that dish and then post a picture of the food that you made, right? I'm giving you like ideas that are so simple, but are giving people an idea of who you are. If you guys know me, if you're my friend on my personal page, you guys, or Instagram even, you guys know that I love to cook. So I will post me making something or, and I'll post the food, right? Or I 
post my kids and me or my son who's a rower or my son now is going to go. He, they went back to school, thank God. And so he's like, starting to have soccer practice and he's going to have games. And then my daughter, she's in college. And when she comes to visit, I always post her. My husband and I, when we go on date nights, we, po you know, we post it. And so it kind of gives an, people an idea of who you are because we do have friends lots lots of friends some people some of you guys are maxed out on friends like i think you can only have five thousand, and you definitely do not know all those people so how are you going to keep them engaged with you if all you're posting are motivational quotes and videos of other people you're not that's the bottom line they're going to be like who is this person it could be anyone behind this you know this facebook page it might not even be eileen who <laughs> like if I didn't put any pictures or video, you know, you would never know. So that is the tactical side of this conversation is you need to go out there and start doing that. Maybe uh, once a day on your stories. I don't recommend putting too many on your, your newsfeed because you'll just overlap and one of them won't be seen or both of them won't be seen or something like that. But if you want to post more than one video, definitely go onto your stories and start doing that. Hey, Facebook user. <laughs> If you know what, that's, I figured out, I used to wonder why people who were doing lives would look at their phones at the same time. And I realized it, it was because of this. It was because when they're doing this uh, stream yard, they can't see who's actually commenting if you don't do the link. So they, instead I can look on my phone and see who actually made that comment. So anyways, who believes that they don't have enough on their profile and they're going to do more. Christine says, I'm more weary of people who only post business and nothing personal. Exactly. Like if somebody friended you and there were no photos and no, I mean, no uh, profile picture and no photos, would you accept their friendship? Probably not. In fact, I wouldn't if I were you, because think about this, even if you're prospecting, let's say you're prospecting and you just want to friend everybody, right? If you friend someone who, Hey, Jennifer, new laptop. Yay. Awesome. I know you needed one. If you friend someone that doesn't post on their, on their profile, why would you want that person on your team? Oh, Jennifer says, nope. You still didn't get it. Come on, girl. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. You're talking about friending someone. Yeah, exactly. You would not because you wouldn't want that person on your team. How could you train them or help them get out there and prospect if they don't even want to be on camera on their own profile, you know, that's what your profile is there for, for yourself, for, for people to get to know you. So Lisa says, absolutely. I don't post enough as I should on my page and profile you girl, you should. Okay. Lisa, my friend, Jennifer, whose comment is right above you is, is a star paparazzi. Okay. <laughs> and she, she is on and is on it. I mean, like always posting and all that. So you definitely go and do that girl. Like put more on there. I actually miss seeing your grandchildren. I don't know if your, uh, your kids let you post your grandchildren on your, your feed much, but I do, uh, remember seeing a lot of that before. So it's like, you know, you're going to attract the people who are like you, but if you don't know, if they don't know who you're like or what you're like, they're not going to come to you. That's the bottom line. Okay. So Lisa, if you posted more of that, they'd be like, oh, I'm a grandma too. I'm a young grandma too. You know, like she, she, we could totally hang, you know, I, you know, attracts more people to you. So, so yeah, I hope that you guys got something out of that. I thought that the story about my Bulgarian friend was actually <laughs> kind of hilarious. <laughs> I mean, how we kind of broke it down on who and who aren't and, you know, about introverts and that they're. They really don't exist because if they did, you would you wouldn't know them. <laughs> you wouldn't know any of them. And you guys are in marketing, so you really have no excuse for that. <laughs> you can't be an introvert; it's impossible. Go. You wouldn't be in this business. Let's put it that way. So, Tony, you're very welcome. So, uh, in in my group, if you guys are not in my group, if you're watching this from my from my business page and you're not in my group yet, go and join the group. I'll put the link here after. We're called Enterprising Entrepreneurs. You can look that up and you'll see that you'll uh, find it. We're running a contest right now. I think there's 10 more days left. $1,400 worth of giveaways. Someone gave away a $3,000 vacation, but you have to pay the fees of $330. So I didn't add that as a giveaway, but more of like a cool discount vacation. <laughs> 
but definitely go in there. And thank you for those of you guys who are in there already. Thank you for inviting people. If you have done that, I know Angela has and Tony and uh, I don't know, there are a couple more people. I don't know who's watching, who's all watching, but yeah, let's keep it going. And I'm going to announce the winners at the free workshop, which I'm going to give you guys more details on. I'm going to live stream it in the group. So if you guys want to be part of the attract, grow and sell secrets to attracting, growing and selling in your business, definitely go in the group because we're going to live stream that on March 30th. It's going to be a three day live stream, not all day long. It'll be about an hour and a half per day and it's going to be a lot of good stuff. So I hope to see you there. I think that's it for the night. I hope that you guys had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day since I couldn't check in last night. And you guys had some green beer and some <laughs> corned beef and cabbage because that's what I had. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Back to back again. I won't miss it this time. I promise. So have a good night, guys. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks again. And be safe, be well, and live abundantly. See you tomorrow. Aloha.